Is there a simple method to calculate the space requirements of factories? We explain this in two videos. In the first video we consider a method for calculating the floor space of the production area. In this video we calculate the floor space of the entire facility. In the first video, we looked at a method for sizing the floor space of the production area. But aren't there other types of space? Do overviews of them exist? The answer is yes. There are several official as well as company-specific schemes for dividing spaces in our factories. In the video description you can find more information and links to different schemes. It is exactly these schemes that help us to dimension the floor spaces. But how? The schemes give us an overview of which space types we need to dimension. With this, we could proceed with a detailed dimensioning method just as we started in the first video. That is, we could calculate the necessary floor spaces for each type of space based on the equipment needed in each case. To do this, we would need a complete listing of the objects in number and dimension, and a suitable dimensioning method for each space type. This would be the detailed dimensioning method for the total floor space. While this approach is very accurate, it is unfortunately also very costly. In early planning phases, not all information for the calculation may be available. Therefore, comparison methods are often used to determine the total floor space. How do these methods work? The idea of these comparison methods is the assumption that the size relationships of the areas differ between different industries, but are almost identical within one. If we know these relationships then it is sufficient to determine the size of only one type of area, for example, using detailed dimensioning methods, and then calculate the total area using comparison methods. So far so good. The exciting question here is, where do we get the key figures? Various attempts have been made to determine these key figures for different industries. In the video description you will find references to the relevant literature. Unfortunately, these key figures are often out of date and it is questionable whether we can find the key figures we need. Another possibility is to determine the correlations based on our existing spaces. That means we take the size ratios of the existing areas and apply them, for example, to our new location or to the expansion of the existing location. To do this, however, we need our own space classification scheme. Our own space classification scheme with the associated key figures is actually a really valuable entrepreneurial planning know-how that cannot be bought, but can be developed ourselves. Let's now take a look at the method using a concrete example. Our current production site is too small and we want to expand to a new location. Your task is to determine the gross floor area for the new production site. We will use the calculated floor space of the production area from the first video and calculate the remaining areas using the comparison method. To do this, we start by determining the size ratios based on our existing facility. In principle, this is simple. So we need to decide on a space classification scheme or develop our own. Then we determine the size of the floor spaces and assign them to the respective space type. For this we can use a suitable planning tool. As a result, we get the size ratios of the space types to each other. On this basis we can determine the size ratios as surcharge factors. This is done for example in MS Excel. In our example, we create the table in such a way that the gross floor area is calculated on the basis of the workplace area. You can also design your table differently. Based on the percentage relationships of the layout, we now determine the respective percentage surcharges in the calculation table. These surcharges are now used to calculate the necessary floor space of all area types and our calculation table is thus ready. In our example, we now enter the floor space of the workplace area calculated in the first video and can import the result into our planning system to plan the layout for our new production site. Floor space dimensioning is an important step in the factory planning process. A prerequisite for this is your own space classification scheme. If you haven't developed your own yet, start now and try it out, it will definitely make you more successful. 